Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes one and two of this series, 86. So yeah, you're probably wondering, you're either like this, you're either one of two things. You're like, yes, oh my god, Deja is finally fucking watching this, or, you know, like, damn, like, she's finally fucking watching this. Um, okay, so the last time I had watched a Gundam-type S series was... <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, Darling, and we all know how that series ended and how that is a show that kind of the anime community looks at a whole in like two different ways. And so, of course, like that show kind of left like a sour taste in my mouth about like Gundams in general. And so before that, like, you know, I've seen like really good shit and such. So I was really skeptical about watching this show. Um, until, like, finally somebody was like, hey, I want you to watch this. And so, I think at the time that I was possibly going to start it, um, because another thing I knew about this show was it was delayed as fuck. And so, I was like, I don't want to start the show, catch up with the show, it still be delayed, and then it takes forever, and then it kind of, like, collides with other shit that I'm doing. So, I was like, I want to wait until the show is completely done, for it to officially be a Patreon show. You know, aka, hint, hint, for everybody who wants to be a Patreon. That's what you gotta do. If anything you wanna request, please always wait until the show is completely fucking done. But really, all I know is that the girl that I'm using my thumbnail as is she's best girl. And everybody was literally obsessing over her. So I also saw, like, when Dress Up Darling was airing, like, everybody was going back and forth between her and Marine. And so I'm like, what the fuck is so freaking um popular about this girl? So, uh, and then I, I think I kind of got spoiled on this show. I, I got to see, like, dub moments for some of the English voice actors for this. But not, like, too, too dubbed. I think maybe more, like, for, like, the couple of final episodes for this show. I don't really remember. Um, because it, like, I watched it and it, like, flew over my head. And I was like, yeah, that's good, I like that. But then at the same time, I was like, what the fuck is this show about? So, yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started <laughs> with episode one and three, two, one, go. I wonder how many, like, freaking fave saves going to be in the show. Did we just start with, like, Yeah, that kind of sounds like him. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> oh, I mean, well, they're dying left, right, and center. Like, oh, shit. Is it going to be like, in the end, they're all just, you know, <laughs> these people, they're all robots. <laughs> I swear, I swear to God. Oh, she pretty. Hmm. But well, damn, that's it. Does everybody here have white? Everybody has the same color hair. Um.
<laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Seriously? Like, you are all fucking lazy? Damn! She sounds like Kaede Hondo. Well, goddamn, there's even fucking bottles in the fountain. What the hell is wrong with these people? So I'm guessing District 86 is not the best one. I'm guessing because you're dead. Jesus, this feels like no one here takes their job seriously. AKA one of my coworkers at work. Okay, and you think she's ready for this? That's a good thing, though.
course, Lena would say yes. <laughs> no, you know who she sounds like? If it's not Kaede Hondo, it, it's the freaking what the hell is her name? She sounds very similar to Aqua Sayu. Real eggs? <laughs> okay, so you're telling me that even in the district that they're like they're living in, which is a very nice place, like they're not able to get real eggs and real milk. What? What the fuck is this? Is this the anime Hunger Games? <laughs> Cause that's exactly what I'm getting here. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not mad at it.
Oh, shit. Hey, Lena, we're using too much. Th that's it? I'm about to say. We are I'm guessing this is District 1. Oh! Y'all were waiting for that, weren't you? <laughs> Watch your character die. DJ, don't say that. <laughs> oh. See, at least their breakfast looks d better than Lena's. Oh my god. No, that's so fucked up. No. Mm. 
god damn like i, I mean you know the gore the gore And it just seems like they can't have any remorse about, you know, any of their quote unquote family members who die because they all know that they're also going to die as well. Oh my God, that means. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my I don't know why, but he kind of gives me Kirito vibes. Oh. Okay, so, you know, this is very interesting. Got a lot of fucking questions about it. But something tells me, in the end, once again, everybody in this cute little family, everybody's dying. Everybody dies. Always. We have a cute little family. And it's like, oh, okay, and then we're all in a freaking war. And it's like, oh, look at this cute little family. Watch them see them all die. One by one by one by one by one by one until there's no one. And then I'm going to be a hot little mess over here. Hell, you got my favorite Sayu in this show. So I already know that in a way she's probably going to fucking die in some way, shape, or form. Like, that, like, honestly, y'all was waiting for that. Because I'm sitting here like, mm, I don't know about this. This might leave, you know, yeah, da, 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 da. I like it. It's really good. It's different, though. Um, I can see why a lot of people fucking enjoyed this first episode when this came out and how, when this show possibly concluded, everyone was like, yeah, this shit's good. But, um, yeah. <laughs> like I said, y'all were fucking waiting for that. <laughs> you know, y'all literally sitting here waiting like, oh, well, wait until she gets to this part and hears this character talk for like one little measly second and then she's going to have a freaking fangirl moment and be like, oh, hey, there's your favorite Sayu and such. But, uh, okay, so I have a lot of questions right now. I mean, number one, the pig situation. So technically, Undertaker and the rest of this quote-unquote family, they're the pigs, correct? Um... There's so many fucking things going through my mind right now. I feel like I need a backstory, like a, a pre, like a prequel episode to this episode. So I hope we get that in this 24 episode series when we get down to the nitty gritty and deeper into this show, because all we know is that there's a war going on. There's a war going on. What the fuck caused this war to happen? This is only really the first episode, and we're about to watch episode two in a couple of minutes. But when <laughs> when you finish an episode and you're like okay I got questions and you know you, you want to ask people like hey but you don't want to know but then yeah like there are, there's several characters in this show that literally look like Sword Art Online characters which maybe it could be by the same person who made the Sword Art Online um series or it's by the same um studio but like okay like the girl with the black hair she looked like fucking, um, what is your name? There's so many fucking characters. <laughs> the, uh, oh my god, the girl from Gun Girl Online, she looked like her. Not nothing on, um, fucking, not Lynn. 
um, the one who was crazy, who was like fucking crazy. So I hope that doesn't happen with her. Um, Lena is adorable. She kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of Alina from the Journey, the Wandering Witch series. Um, like from the beginning of the show and towards the end, where like after you know her first year of being away from home and everything that she's going through like she changes completely so i feel like lena is gonna kind of get something like that especially with this new team that she's with because she seems like this cute happy-go-lucky bubbly type girl and now that she's had like people who were quote-unquote somewhat close to her not like a family but like someone who you still care about where is this like okay <laughs> here's a funny way of comparing this okay so you know when you watch an anime and you really connect with the character and then the character dies and you cry over that character in that moment when one of the characters died and lena had just found out about it like she almost fucking broke down about that so i feel like she's gonna go from someone who is able who was how the fuck should i word this Someone who is able to hold, like, to show their emotions to, I feel like by the end of this, she's going to be able to not show her emotions as much, but she'll still be the same. She'll still be that happy, go lucky, bubbly type girl. I feel like these two are possibly going to fall in love because it seems like that in a way, especially with one of the other pictures that I was kind of going to use a thumbnail as, but of course, like, I didn't find a really good, you know, quality of said picture so hence why I'm using the picture that I'm using but I mean yeah I, I think it's not that bad it's really very interesting but I, I got a lot of questions yeah especially even with the fucking robots like they have to look like spiders kind of do y'all know I don't like spiders so I mean you know I... <laughs> no <laughs> but they look cool they look really really cool but I do in like a weird really really weird way I feel like um the connections to these Gundams and these kids, it's going to be something bad. And it's going to be something that I'm not going to see until the end of the show. So, you know, people who probably want to spoil me, because of course there's going to be people who are probably going to want to try. Um, you either do one of two things. You know, you write something in the freaking comments and then, you know, keep going, enter until it's like read more so like don't read it. And such, but technically, I'm always having to approve condom, uh, condoms. <laughs> Con <laughs> Comments. Um, so I would either say do that or wait until we get closer and closer to like the really big spoilery type things and be like, oh, so yeah, this is what you meant at this time and this point in episode one. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. Why do I feel like something bad is going to happen to her? I mean, it's just, you know, when you have, like, a weird feeling and you can't shake that feeling? Like, I, I don't, do I think she's going to die? 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. Like, either, one, she might die, or two, Lena might be captured, like, at the halfway point of the show. And then we just don't see her until the last episode. And then she finally pops up and then everybody's like, hey, you know, cheers. Best girl is here, you know. I don't know yet. <laughs> I felt, I felt like, <laughs> you know, probably some of y'all may have watched this, watch this show and be like, oh my God, she's fucking got it. What the fuck? <laughs> But the, and there's probably going to be some of y'all like, oh my god, she is so freaking off. But, I, you know, I like her enthusiasm. <laughs> you know, let me say this too. Nothing better happened to the cat. I swear to God. You know, if something happened to the cat, 
I'm be pissed. I think I know, you know what? Oh, y'all are doing that fucking like angel beats. You're gonna show every fucking person who died every single week. That's not cool. That's not fucking cool. That means I, I can't get attached to anybody. <sighs> I'm scared. Yeah. Like, are you seriously gonna clean the blood? Mm, you're already using one. Someone who's not here anymore. Oh, so, you know, Lena's going to be a nuisance. Well, you know, that's okay. I mean, she cares. Mm. Damn. Damn! Damn, that's a small ass group. You know what else this reminds me of? Um, or kind of gives me feels too? Ghost in the Shell.
I mean, they look cool, though. Too bad you gotta kill them. See these fucking th oh shit. I mean, they're smart, like, oh, this group got some ish on them, but, like, Yeah, but you know, sometimes enjoying yourself might get yourself killed. No offense. We, <laughs> I don't want to see anybody die today. We already got that in episode one. Mm, nice dodge. See, he is a kitty toe. Like, okay, we all know he's a fucking show off. He likes to do that. I'm not mad at it. Do what you gotta do. That's a fucking meter. Oh, what well, damn. I kind of felt bad for her though, like damn. Oh, this 
sleeping class. <laughs> No. Oh. I mean, Lima, you know your uncle can't save you and everything, right? I mean, I, I love you. We only op in episode two, and I already love you, but like, oh my god, baby. Aww. Right?
Well, damn, what is it ending with, like, five? There's five minutes left! There's five minutes left! <laughs> what the fuck? What? Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 so you know the last few minutes of this episode better be worth it. Okay, I love the fact that she, you know, decided to tell all these other people, like, hey, the people at, who are 86, they're human. They're teenagers just like us. They have feelings. Like, there's more behind what you guys don't know. Because it seems like the this government slash military where Lena and the rest of these people, if we're considering them people, quote unquote, they don't tell them everything. Especially what is also going on in the battlefield. So they think that, oh, it's just people, you know, it's AIs going against other AIs. And they're all dying and nobody gives a shit about them. Because, you know, hey, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, you're safe, you're fine, so everything's going to be okay. But, you know, with Lena, she sees certain things. She gets attached to it. And I feel like, you know, the girl who she's also, like, friends with or co-workers with... She's literally over here saying, like, yeah, you're getting a little too attached. And, and and I'm saying that, too. She is getting a little too attached to them. And I feel like that's going to be her downfall. And that's going to fuck me up. She had already fucked her up in episode one. I mean, she's not just a spoiled rich kid. She's a, <laughs> I can't speak. She's a spoiled rich kid that cares about you guys. Well, damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's fine.
no. <laughs> Once again, don't let anything happen to fucking cat. If something happens to the fucking cat, we're going to have a problem. A big old problem. No, 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 no. Do not let the fucking cat die. Mm -mm. I'm not getting attached to an animal in an anime, and then, you know, they die, and then I'm over here, because, you know. <sighs> I feel like with this show, I... God. This is going to make me cry. Maybe. I don't know. It just, it depends on how I get attached to some of these characters. This is only the second episode of 24. And right now I'm like, I'm attached to all these characters. Um, but not to the point where I could say I could cry it for them. I mean, especially about with dude in the first episode who just fucking got killed. Um, because you don't know who, <laughs> how long any of these kids are gonna are gonna be here because it's just like okay <laughs> we're all, we're only on episode two and we have 20 more episodes left with this show and any one of them can go like that in a fucking heartbeat like one minute they're here and the next minute we're gone they're gone and so i feel like because okay we all know of course like okay if saudi hayamin's character dies like we all know that's gonna be it for me like i'm probably gonna have like a fucking breakdown and i'm gonna cry and such or it's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be like a moment where and and i've always said this like if, if you truly fucking know me in any reaction video that i've done where I'm like, I always say the words, I'm not going to cry. Like, I'm not going to cry this time. Like, no, I'm not crying. I don't want people to see me cry. Because I feel like I make an ugly cry, even though everybody's like, no, no, you look good. And I'm like, no, I look so fucking ugly when I ugly cry over a fucking anime character. Because it's just so fat. It's fucking sad because it feels like you, you, lost, you lost a part of someone that you, you know, you've been connecting with for like so many fucking weeks. And they feel like your extended family and it's gonna hurt and I feel like we're gonna get more into hurt moments where I'm gonna cry how I, it might be how I felt you know <laughs> how I felt um, was it two two three years ago yeah, like about like two three years ago when I finished playing Kingdom Hearts 3 for the first time and <laughs> and that ending and I'm over here like it, it was like I think it was like what two o'clock in the morning and I'm crying my ass off and I'm on Twitter, like, <laughs> and most people on Twitter was like, what the fuck is wrong with her? And, and everyone was like, she's playing Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, remember, this is the game that she's been waiting a long effing time for. She just finished it, and so she doesn't know how she feels right now. And at that time, I didn't know how, what to feel, especially with that fucking ending. And, you know, now, you know, he, he, baby's okay, because you know Kingdom Hearts 4. But, I, I mean, at the same time... I felt like I can't stay connect. I can't get attached to any of these characters because I feel like, okay, Snow Queen or fucking, um, okay, Anju, uh, Shin, any of, of these fucking characters, they will die in the next co coming weeks and it might hurt. Like what, let me, okay, no, let me compare this to something else. And this is something that I always will go back to comparing. Okay. So like the first episode that I reacted to for the Simple Gear series. And this is going to be a little major minor spoilers for the first episode of Simple Gear. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want to know, just go ahead and stop right now. If you don't care, then yeah, continue watching. So long story short, like, okay, one of the main characters dies in like the first fucking episode. And so I couldn't really cry or feel anything at that moment because I had just met her in the exact same episode. If it was something like where I got like a couple of prequel, blah, blah, I can't speak, prequel episodes with her and fucking um, Nanami Saki's character at the same time and seeing their friendship and the relationship blossom into a very interesting um, partnership and stuff, very similar to like a lot of other Magical Girl series, like, okay, almost like Pretty Care-esque, and then the one, the Blue Reflection Ray series that I watched, and a couple others, where it's usually, like, two first, and then someone else comes in. Um, 
And if I had seen that first and then watched episode one, oh, of course, I would have, like, fucking cried my ass off like a baby. But because I had just met her, I didn't feel anything. And I even stated that in, like, on my Twitter. I was like, yeah, I didn't really feel ish towards her. And I felt like a lot of people, when they watched that first episode, and especially getting into the show, a lot of people possibly felt the same way. And so now when you, I think now if I ever sat and rewatched the whole entire show, oh, of course I feel, I would definitely feel something about her. Um, since I got to learn more about her in the show. And so I, I feel like we're going to get in that route with this series. Technically in a way we've already started it, especially with dude who died in episode one. So <laughs> it's just going to get a lot worse. <laughs> so this is going to be like Attack on Titan, Akadama Drive, Duncan Ropa, um, <laughs> Magical Girl Rising Project, Magical Girl Sight, all the other shows where characters just die and you're like, eh, I can't, you know, be attached to anybody. Um, but of course, I, I feel like this is going to be one of those animes that by the end of it, I'm going to have way different feelings that, like good feelings, not bad. So don't think that good feelings, um, by the end of it too I feel like there is going to be like a moment towards maybe the second half of this show that is just going to make me think of everything that we've seen from episode one to like <clears throat> episode let's say 12 or 13 um excuse me oh my god is a lie and then whatever that quote-unquote big secret is it's like oh it's really this and then I'm just gonna be over here like what the fuck what the absolute fuck but <laughs> who knows we're not gonna know until we get there but yeah both of these episodes were really really good I'm just I'm scared to see what could possibly you know be in store for the rest of these characters and how are some of these stories for some of these characters are gonna end I mean of course like I felt like Shin is gonna be the only character of this group who's going to survive besides Lena. I feel like nothing will bad, like something, like I said, something bad will possibly happen to Lena, but not as bad as the 86 teenagers. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of 86. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.